Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. In this video, we are going to answer this question. What are the steps to deploy your SSRS report using Report Manager? So first of all, you will be creating your reports by using BIDS or SSDT, or maybe you are working as a DBA, and the report is already checked in TFS. If it is the case, uh, you will be going to the TFS, uh, Team Foundation Server, or SVN, or any third-party uh, uh, versioning control software your company is using, uh, and check out that uh, report to the local folder. So, in our case, consider we have created a SSRS project, uh, and uh, there is one report we would like to deploy. So, we are going to go to the folder where these reports are saved. Uh, so, we go to the um, SSRS project uh, full path. Uh, that's the location where uh, the files are saved. So once we are there, I'm going to go to the project folder. And here we see those all the reports. So, so think about that. Uh, let's say we would like to deploy this uh, block uh, group report. Uh, so copy this path and then go to the report manager. So in the report manager, uh, this is how you will see. You will see some folders. Uh, and if you click on the home, uh, you have data sources, reports, and all that. That uh, it is a really a good idea to create the folders uh, with nice names. Uh, so let's say for data sources, uh, create a, a folder called data sources uh, with the uh, maybe HR reports, uh, uh, sales reports. Uh, so by doing it, uh, you will have more control on the permissions. Uh, so different folders have, will have different uh, reports uh, according to the different departments uh, and you can provide uh, permission on the folder level so anyways uh, let's say we have a reports uh, folder and that's where we would like to deploy or publish or upload our report uh, we'll go to the upload file uh, and then uh, we will choose file and then we have to provide the path uh, where that uh, report is sorry uh, let's i didn't copy seems like i didn't copy that path now let me paste And that's where our reports are. I will select block uh, uh, group report. Hit OK. And now, if we would like to overwrite uh, item, if it is exist, uh, you can click this one. Otherwise, leave this one and hit OK. Now, the report will be uploaded. And uh, you can see that block group report is uploaded. The next part I will recommend, uh, go to the manage part uh, and see if the report uh, data sources configured correctly so let's say if we go to data sources we see that a shared data source uh, and the select a shared data source uh, so we browse and select the data source uh, from our data sources uh, hit ok and apply 